Congressman King, let me pick up on that because there are some analysts who've said the fact that we're now carrying out airstrikes in Iraq will make ISIS more likely than it would have been originally to attack the United States, create a grievance for them that didn't exist before. Would that also be the case in Syria, and is that something for the U.S. government to ponder? No, Al-Qaeda didn't need a grievance to attack us on 9-11. These groups, they don't need any excuse. They will attack us whenever they can. And I would disagree with Adam. I believe strongly that ISIS does plan on attacking the United States. Even three years ago, their predecessor organization attempted to attack Fort Knox, and two people were arrested and, and convicted in uh, Kentucky for that at attempted attack. And again, Adam talks about, and the president talks about setting up this coalition. They started a year ago, and they can't put it together. How long do we wait? The longer we wait, the more dangerous ISIS becomes. And my main criticism of last year was the president lined up these allies for the bombing attacks. He drew the red line, and then he pulled the rug out without telling those allies, and now they they don't trust the president, and that's why you're going to find a reluctance for other countries, for instance, other Arab states, to get involved with us in a coalition.